Do you want to learn how to make a super easy funky bow with gold, rose gold and silver ribbons? Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. If you're new to this channel, let me give you a warm welcome and let you know that I'm an interior designer, decorator and DIYer who wants to help you make your home your favorite place on earth. So please consider subscribing. And if you have been following for a long time, then welcome back. And today we have a very exciting video. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this beautiful funky bow with silver, gold and rose gold ribbons. It is absolutely gorgeous and super easy to make. This will be part of our Christmas in July series. I'm gonna have a few videos this month to celebrate Christmas in July, and I hope you will come back for those videos. But to learn how to make this funky bow, let's go to my studio. All right, you guys, so the materials we're gonna use for this beautiful funky bow is going to be some rose gold ribbon, as well as some gold ribbon and silver ribbon. This is gonna be a really glam bow. We're gonna use our wire cutters, of course, a pair of scissors, some pipe cleaners, and also one of these yard sticks. Now I wanna show you the way that I store my ribbons when I'm done with the holiday season. I just like to roll them up and then I can go in there and pull the ones that I need. You guys can see right here, I have some of that gold. I'm sure I'm gonna pull it out in case I need it. But this is how I store my ribbons every year. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull my tools out to the side and last year for Christmas we did a beautiful beautiful swag that had a gorgeous um, funky bow on it if you guys haven't seen that swag tutorial I'm gonna I'm gonna link it up right now and so you guys can go check it out as well as a matching lantern that was so beautiful oh my gosh look how gorgeous this gold rose ribbon is I remember last year I looked and looked and looked for gold rose and I could not find it. All right, we're gonna make a rather large um, funky bow. So we're gonna do, I wanna say probably about 35 inches long. All of our tails are gonna be 35 inches long. And so what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and double it up like this. And I'm going to cut. I wanna do probably, because I want it to be a large one, I wanna do probably about six of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it right here on my hand. I'm going to do six of each color and I love, love, love you guys the way that all of these metals look mixed together and I think it's going to be our theme for Christmas because like I said last year I looked and looked and looked for rose gold and I could not find any glitter, I could not find any ornaments but now that I know where to find it, there's a store here in San Diego. Um, the actual, our friend Rebecca Robeson, our favorite designer, shops at, it's called Shinoda. So we are going to uh, go there and buy some supplies and I think you guys are going to like it. All right, so I'm gonna continue cutting these ribbon tails and I will be right back with you. All right, as you guys can see, I have all of my ribbon tails about 35 inches long each one. I have six on the rose gold, I have four on the silver, and four on the regular gold. And the reason why I want to add more of the rose gold is because I want it to be my primary color, so I need to make sure that it shows better. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and fold them in half, and then you're going to pinch. So this is how big our loop is going to be, and as you guys can see, it's rather large. So you wanna do the same with all of them. You're going to go ahead and pinch, and then you're going to swag it down right here. And you're gonna to have to make sure that you're pinching right about the same uh, length, so right about half. The easiest way is to fold it in half. But right now I'm going to introduce a silver one, and then I'm going to introduce a gold one right here. So just basically fold it in half, pinch right here, fluff it a little bit, and then I'm gonna do one more rose gold right about here. I'm gonna do another silver, 
and make sure that they are about half way down. You're gonna pinch right here. And then I'm gonna do yet another gold. And this, actually this ribbon came from the Dollar Tree, you guys, last year. That's why I saved it because I could not believe how good of a quality this ribbon is. Leave me a comment down below and let me know where is it that you like to buy your ribbons. Sometimes I like to buy it at Hobby Lobby just because the quantities are greater. Like this rose gold is, um, as you guys can see, it is 90 feet and it was less than $10. So that is a steal for ribbon. All right, so we're gonna pinch right here and we're gonna fluff. And of course, we're always gonna go out and fluff at the very end. So you're gonna pinch right about half. And as you guys can see, this is like super easy. There's no science to it. But I really enjoy making these bows for my lanterns, for my swags, even for gift wrapping for the holidays. And not only the holidays, but also for like a wedding and graduation, just because this type of bow makes a bigger statement. As you guys can see, I have one of each left. And at this point, you just wanna go ahead and fold them all in half, like so, and then pinch right about halfway down and pinch it in, like so. And then we're gonna add this other gold one right here, right about half, and pinch it in. I love the way this is turning out. I love the mix of all of these beautiful metals. Just love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this one right here. It does kinda become a little bit more difficult when you're working with so many and you already pinched them, all right? So right about there, so then what I'm going to do is actually I'm gonna grab one of my trusty uh, pipe cleaners that also came from the dollar store. Thumbs up you guys for the dollar store because I really think that they have the best supplies for a fraction of the cost that you would pay at local uh, uh, craft stores. I always, always, always go to the dollar store first and if I cannot find it at the dollar store, then I will go to my craft stores. But usually for supplies, that's a place to go. All right, so once you have them all, you're gonna give them a twist just to secure it. And this is where the fun begins. You fluff your bow. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like this mixture of metals. I really think it's so pretty. All right, make sure you don't lose your tails, your pipe cleaner tails. Because now what you need to do is, and I'm gonna make it like this so you guys can see, I'm gonna bring a silver, a gold, a rose gold, and make sure that they are through the pipe cleaners. Then a gold, a rose gold, and a silver. And then right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock it just by twisting again. So those become the upper tails. Now, here's the cool thing. I'm gonna put this to the side right now and I'm gonna grab me a longer tail because I wanna have some long tails. I think I already put my scissors up. I'm gonna cut it right here. So this guy is probably around 48 inches long and I'm gonna fold it in half. And then I'm gonna do the same with a silver one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it like this. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want this funky bow to have longer tails so they show better just like how i did in the swag last year for christmas and that just gives you some play if you want to um, trail them down longer than instead of just having them at this point you can stop and just have like short tail funky bow but what i want to do is i want to have some longer tails so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold it in half right here i'm going to gather and then i'm going to insert this right here with my pipe cleaners and I'm gonna give it yet another twist. So basically we're just attaching these tails right here. All right, just make sure they're very secure. All right, so now this is where the fun begins. This is where you fluff your funky bow. Oh my gosh, I just love you guys. Love, love, love all of these colors. All right, so there's your longer tails. Then what you need to do is, of course you're gonna dovetail every single tail. And my favorite thing to do is to cut some short, cut some long. They don't all need to be the same size because that will give it some interest, that will give it some texture, and like so. I really am in love with this rose gold, you guys. 
Like I said, leave me a comment down below if you guys think that should be our theme for this year's Christmas. And then also leave me a comment down below and let me know if there's any projects you guys want to see for the holidays this year that I didn't get to do last year. I really am excited. About 25 days of Christmas last year, 25 days of Christmas was very exciting for me. We got to shoot 25 videos and we just had so much fun with the, uh, with the farmhouse style, with some glam, with some snowman. So I tried to do a little bit of everything for everybody and I just love the fact that so many of you got to this channel with our Christmas videos. Actually, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I wanna know what video you guys found Ramon at home with. And if it was a Christmas video, I really wanna know which one uh, was the one that you find the channel with. It'd be interesting to know. All right, so, so far so good. And so that's what our funky bow looks like, you guys. It's a funky bow with extremely long and beautiful tails. And I just love the way this looks. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. As you guys can see, making a funky bow for a wreath is super easy, but like I told you during the video, it can also be for a swag, for a lantern, and even perhaps for a gift wrapping. They're super easy to make, very affordable because you don't use all the ribbon and the bolt if you mix them all together. It can be actually done with leftover ribbons. All right, well, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and let your friends know about what we're doing here at Home. If you guys haven't seen the, those Christmas videos, I'm gonna put them on a playlist right now or you can watch more videos right now. Thank you and until next time. Bye.